Today we're at the TaylorMade Performance Lab at Olympia Fields to talk about two new drivers we have for this upcoming year, one of them being the R11 driver. And the first thing that is definitely noticeable is the color white to this golf club and the crown here. And one of the things about the color white it does, it establishes face angle for the player. And with the black face and the matte white finish on the crown, it allows the player to align the club much easier. Um, and it also, you know, is a lot cleaner looking. There's no hot spots from glare because it is a matte finish. We have three different technologies here. We have one, we have uh, flight control technology, which is FCT. That allows us to adjust the loft of the driver. So we can add a degree of loft or take off a degree of loft by FCT. And if you look at the sleeve here, our new sleeve has that written on it. We also have adjustable sole technology, AST, and that's that red dial on the bottom. What that allows the player to do is to adjust face angle independently of the FC, FCT technology. And then last but not least, we have movable weight technology, which we've had in the years past, which allows us to adjust the bias of the driver to be more of a draw bias or a fade bias of it. So we're here at the Performance Lab at Olympia Fields, and we're here today to talk about a, uh, the fitting of the R11 driver. And it's one of the most popular questions I'm getting these days is, how to fit for it, and what are some of the technology and how to use it. Well, the first is face angle technology, and uh, that's what we call uh, flight control technology. And we can take off the head of the golf club by using our torque wrench. And on the sleeve of the shaft, this year we will have a couple settings. One will be standard loft, which will be how the driver comes. And we also have the ability to make the driver with more loft or more loft or less loft. So this would be adding a degree of loft to the golf club, and this would be taking off a degree of loft to the golf club. So I'm going to put it back in a standard setting, which is standard loft. Right here we have the R11 9 degree driver, and independently we can have this plug on the bottom adjust the face angle of the golf club. And this is adjustable sole technology. And from here, this will independently change the face angle of the driver for a player to get it set the way it looks to the, his or her eye. Majority of a touring professionals, they will not feel very comfortable or even hit the golf club if it doesn't look right at a dress for them. And what we have here is using the same exact wrench, we can turn our dial to an open, closed, or neutral setting. So C would be closed, we just line it up with our arrow there over open and end back to neutral. And with our torque wrench, we just wait for that click and it's locked, in, locked into place. Last but not least, we have movable weight technology. We have a 10 gram in the heel and a one gram in the toe of the golf club. Right now, this is set for a little bit more of a draw bias. If we wanted a neutral bias to it, we would take the 10 gram and replace it with the one gram weight. So this year, the stock shaft in the TP version of the R11 driver will be the Fujikura Blur shaft. It has a really neat graphic to it. It's got a nice weave to it. You can kind of see it here in the light here, some of the graphic of it. Kind of a nice black weave to it. They also have a 55 version and an ultralight version of the shaft as well. This is a new shaft here for 2011 from Fujikura. So here's a bird's eye view of the R11 driver here with a Penta here from Jason Day. We got his logo on it. And what the matte white finish does, it allows us to see face angle in, in the heavy contrast between the black face and the white crown here. 